Good evening. This is the story about a cat, probably the only cat I ever truly love. It's a sad story, but a story that needs telling nonetheless, because it hurts even today. I've never been a big fan of cat. They've always been a pet I never really got on with. I was always a dog person. I lived on my own in a flat. I was young. I was about 20 years old and I used to do night shifts working in a plastics factory. I lived on my own and I never even thought about getting a pet of any kind. Then one day when I came home in the morning from my shift as I approached my door I could hear a meowing and this meowing was you as a human you understand when a pet when a, an animal is in distress and I could hear this meowing so I searched around I was looking around for this meowing noise and next to my kitchen window there, there was a little cupboard underneath it and I opened the latch and opened the door and inside this little face this little face of this young cat all black long fur absolutely gorgeous just looking at me but it kept meowing even when I opened the door and looked at it and she let me pick her up I was, you know, as you do What are you doing in there? Who's locked you in there? Somebody had locked the cat in the cupboard And I immediately, immediately just wanted to give her some, give her some food You know, give her a bit of milk Cheer her up a little bit So I opened my door and ventured in and give her a bit of milk. The only food I had at the time was a bit of spam. She ate it all nonetheless. I rang a few vets, seeing if anybody had lost a cat, but I never ever got any answers, but I just let her hang about. She seemed to want to hang about, so I just, you know, you don't really take on a stray cat. A stray cat just takes on you, and if they like you, they just stay with you. I never kept her on, like, purpose or anything I left the door open she, she, she was just free to go and as she pleased but she never did she just liked lying on the couch so after so long she just became my cat and she was one of the most beautiful cats I've ever seen and as I said at the beginning I'm not a cat person but this cat had something different I used to walk to the shops and she'd walk with me literally just walk right next to me like a dog without a lead just walk right next to me and the shop was a good half a mile away and she'd walk with me and then I'd go in the shop and she'd just sit on the step outside the shop wait for me and then walk back with me and our relationship was brilliant she was just a beautiful absolutely beautiful cat now I made the mistake of calling her Zeus because at the time I thought she was a lad but she wasn't, she was a female. But I kept the name Zeus anyway. She was a beautiful, beautiful cat. And then one day she disappeared, disappeared and I didn't know where she went and I was absolutely losing my mind. Now earlier that day some workers had been clearing out a flat downstairs and they'd reversed the van up to the doors and all I could think of was I think she jumped in the the van and then they drove off um, so I rang around a few vets worried about the cat and eventually after about four weeks I got a phone call saying a family had found her a family had found her um, about 30 miles away uh, and they were willing to bring her back so I was really happy I got her back and she immediately as soon as the family opened the car door and she heard me, she came bouncing out the car, running towards me, jumped up on me, like like you see a, a lion when it meets its keeper after so many years. It was a lovely feeling, it was a feeling that I've wanted, somebody wanted me, even though it was a cat, it didn't matter. So time went by, and you you know, you, have your, you live your life, you do your thing, you feed her, you take the vets once a year, you get her inje booster injections, you, you bath her, she loved baths, weird that, every cat I've had since loves baths as well, I don't know whether it's because I teach them from young, you know, I bath them from young, bath them in the bath, and they don't seem to fight or anything, I don't know how, how, how I do it, but they never seem to struggle, they just have the bath, get showered, dry them, blow dry them, bit of talc, and they're buzzing. Um, 
then one day I was working nights and I'd gone to bed in the morning and she used to sit outside my balcony on the um, outside my door on the balcony ledge and I was wo- awoken I was awoken at about two in the day by the sound of dogs really angry now me I was um, a very keen protector of my area i.e. I was a bit of a nosy neighbour because I'd been broken into a few times so I was a bit of a nosy neighbour and I could hear these dogs but then I heard a, a cat in absolute agony I could hear the cat in absolute agony so in my underpants I've ran out and I've ran down the stairs and I've seen two absolutely huge Great Danes ripping and tearing this the cat to absolute pieces blood everywhere so I've punched one of the Great Danes in the head and clean I'm, I'm, when I'm, I'm not joking here when I say this I literally knocked it clean out the other dog I was chasing around the garden the woman who owned the dogs was screaming sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry and I'm just f- absolutely all over the place trying to chase this dog she's dragging her other dog which is absolutely KO'd by the way I've never done it since never done it before I've never hit a dog I love dogs but for some weird reason that day I just I was so angry and she was dragging it by its collar along the floor trying to pull it out drag it away and she's screaming I'm sorry I'm sorry and then I've just looked at this cat which is basically in two halves still alive and I've picked it up and I'm covered in blood with this black cat with long hair and I've got blood all over me the cat's in two halves I'm on my knees in the garden and a new young girl had moved into the flat below and she's looked out of a kitchen window and all she's seen in a garden is a guy in his underpants covered from head to toe in blood crying shouting angry and I, I just didn't know what to do with myself I was absolutely in tears and then as I was sat there thinking to myself you poor thing looking at this cat's eye cat's eyes it was absolutely mangled but I was it was still alive and I did I just didn't know what to do but it was gonna die it died pretty quickly but I was just sat there and then I looked up and my cat was sat on the balcony looking down at me and I was like who the fuck's this cat then? And I had no idea, I had no idea who this cat was, but it looked exactly like mine. So I've laid this cat down, ran upstairs to my cat, took, put it in the house, in the flat. I was like, oh, I, did, I didn't know what to do. I, I was lost. So I got a bath, cleaned myself off. I, I buried the cat in the garden I felt a bit sad I tried knocking on my neighbour's door to say sorry for what she'd seen but I don't really think she was interested because she didn't open the door Um, and I was so happy and then that same night that very same night my cat went missing couldn't find it I was as you do and for days just nothing and then I decided on about the fifth day to go walk down the moss which is was just behind my house I thought I'd go and have a look down the moss it's not a place that I would have thought she would have went but I thought I'd give it a go and I started walking down the moss and then as I was walking down the moss I could see some black fur on the floor and I could just see it poking out of a hedge so after the elation of realising my cat hadn't been killed that day and then she just went missing immediately and I found her and it had a it was her her little red collar and she'd been shot in the head literally shot through the head with what can only be described it must have been some kind of really powerful air rifle and still to this day I have pictures of her she was just a wonderful wonderful cat so I'd just like to pay tribute to her as a pet because you know we forget about Sometimes we forget about our pets. It becomes a a fleeting moment in your life because they don't live very long. I mean, to cats and dogs, humans must be immortal. 
we must seem immortal because they live the whole life and then by the time they're it's their time to die with to them we still look the same age we don't age to them so i just thought i'd make this little video just to you know give a bit of solace just to say i still remember you zeus and i will never forget you you were a great cat and i know that you're proud of me for taking in one two three and i'm on my fourth i'm on my fourth cat that i've taken in I love cats now. I mean, when the cat that I've got now dies, that will be my last, unfortunately. Um, not because I don't love cats, not because I don't love pets. I just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I just can't. You see, I'm a very um, conscious person. And when it comes to pets, I treat pets like children. And when you take on a pet, I see it as taking on another child because they cost as much as a child. They take as much care as a child. It's like, that's why I never own a dog. I just cannot afford to insure one. I don't have the money. I'd love a dog, but I just can't. Dogs are the most beautiful creatures in the world, but so are cats now. I see cats just as much. People say cats don't have personalities, but I've had, I think I've had five up to now, and they, they all have their own personalities. They really do. They really do, but if they attach to you as a pet, because cats find you, cat, cats will attach to you, you don't attach to a cat, a cat will attach to you, and if they like you, you'll, you'll learn to love them, and you will realise that each one has its own personality, and I just, that's why I just thought I'd speak about this, because I don't want to ever forget about Zeus, because she was just such a beautiful cat, she really was, and I miss her even to this day and then i suppose my other favorite cat was doubles she was the cat i immediately i didn't rescue her i just went to a shelter um and you know as you do you go to the shelters to look for a pet and she was a young there was a they were showing me around saying this cat this this cat that but then when i got there was this a load of kittens in with a mum and the mum was just a mate she just straight away you could, I could sell because you can and the people said what do you want one of the kittens and I was, nope <laughs> I, I want the mum <laughs> I want the mum so they said well you'll have to wait for a while and I said I'll wait I'll, you you just tell me when she's ready and I'll uh, come and get her and her name was Doubles but she died two years ago three years no three years ago but again, she was very similar to Zeus. Very similar. Um, yeah, I miss her too. It's weird how pets make you feel. Sometimes you, you you underestimate what they do for you, what they do for your soul, and it makes me feel sad sometimes. That you know, you go on your social media or you go onto the internet and you see the way some people treat the pets. How how can you do that to another animal? How can you do that to a living being that all it wants to do is love you and it's not asking for much all it's asking for is a couple of meals and a stroke that's it that's all it wants from you dogs even want even less they literally don't want anything from you they just want to be with you you know you could have no food whatsoever and a dog would still love you it's you know that's why you when you see homeless people with dogs and they've got no food or nothing. You know, it's a partnership. And, you know, they know that they'll get a, few, a little snack later or the person will find them something. It's kind of like a partnership. The dog knows it's it's in this deal with you. You're both in the same deal. So, mm. well, I miss you, Zeus. And uh, thanks for listening. And I'm sorry it's a sad story, but I just wanted to get it down because I was thinking about thinking about her at the time so i thought i'd speak about her and remember her and put her in video form thanks for listening and i will uh, catch you again soon